Hi guys, Haley here with the Post New Board and today we are doing a spotlight video with the Emery Wrap. So this wrap is the base wrap that I use for all of my wraps. For everything, all of my wrapping setups with the baby, this is the base wrap that I use. It comes in, I think, five or six different colors, a mauve, a burnt orange, a brown, a darker brown, and a green. Um, no, the base color, if you're using it with other wraps, doesn't really matter, but I like to make the most out of my session, so I will use this as a pose as well. So I like to have all the colors so that I can do use all the colors, have a variety when I do my poses. So I'm going to show you today how I use the Emery Wrap on my little Olivia, a little it's a newborn posing doll for my real baby. <laughs> yes. But you can shop the Emery Wrap and all of our props at the postnewbornshop.com. So I put her arms up like this. I keep them out of the wrap. I like hands out of the wrap. So I pose her arms up like this. And I did it backwards. I like to do the other side. I leave a little bit of the wrap out on the other side. this point because they cannot get out of this wrap. <laughs> they can't break out and they don't understand why. So they might start fighting you and crying a little bit, but they will stop eventually and they will go into a deep sleep. Then I take the feet and I put the feet up like this. You can see. And I wrap the knee, make sure to wrap the knee and around the butt. I like to wrap the back of the neck. I like to put them on the back of the neck to support the neck because I do eventually do potato sack with this starting setup. So I like to have um, the support at the neck. And then I will take this, this baby is tiny, usually I have more, and I do also tuck it in at the back of the neck. that it won't come out and it gives me that extra back the neck support for when I do potato sack pose. I wrap this baby a little too tight here. <laughs> I'll do that and I make sure that this comes up over the shoulders to give it a really pretty look. So that is how baby looks in the emery pose with her hands, with the hands. I was like, is that shoulders? Why is the shoulders shoulders? And then I will use this in a prop, sometimes a bed, laying on a bed. And there's a little coming out, but that's totally fine. Just tuck that under the, and you can't tuck it all in. Usually you can't. It's being a really tiny. So this is a bowl. That. I think a JD vintage prompt. I get a lot of money from there. And I just put a little poser pillow under here and a big fur. And then I will put baby here. I like baby's head to be elevated a little bit. And then I will shoot baby like this. Like I said, I can use beds, I can use bowls, I can use fur, I can use a bucket, I can use a crate. So many things. Can you see me? my hands just straight. You can use so many different things. So this is one pose and then Beatty is in the Emery Rob and she is ready to be posed for the next pose. But if this was a pose, it would probably be a boy. Okay, this is more of a boy. <laughs> anyway, 
anyway, you get the idea. So go check out the Emery Wrap in my shop, www.theposenewboyshop.com. It's the Emery Wrap. And I think they are twelve dollars. <laughs> and come join our Facebook community where we have sales every week, and you can get the Emery Wrap for cheaper if you're in the community. So go, you might snag it for a discount if that is the discount of the week on Thursday. So go check that out. I don't know when you're watching this, so I can't tell you if it's going to be. But it is always available in the shop as well. www.theposenewboardshop.com So go, links, all the links that you need are below. And I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. And subscribe to our channel for more videos of our products and more educational newborn photography videos as well to help you in your business. Okay guys, I'm Haley and I will see you next time. Bye.